So, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ruth Crockett and I am the children's worker at Stirling Baptist Church. One of the hardest things about lockdown is not being able to stand up at the end of the morning service and share with you a bit about what is going on in the lives of the children. So I thought it would be a really nice idea to do a video showing you everything that is going on with the kids. So if we start all the way back in March, I was homeschooling four children and was very quickly furloughed because I could not handle everything I was being asked to do. So I am massively grateful to Rob and the kids team who kept everything going and provided um, activities and resources for the children to access online in that time. I came back to work in August after the summer holidays and since then we've just been trying to um, reach all the kids and work out what it is that we can do um, safely um, and still have a lot of fun and teach kids about Jesus. It became clear quite quickly that we had uh, three sort of main groups of kids. We had children who are still at home and haven't um, come back to church yet and aren't quite ready to come back to anything. We've got children who have come back with their parents to the church services on a Sunday morning and we've got children um, who are happy to come to something outdoors. So with that in mind and to try and um, reach all of these children, we have been making weekly videos. Hello and welcome to SBC Kids Online. Every week that video is put up on YouTube with the weekly teaching um, and children can access that at home or in one of our other programs as well. We just watch the same video wherever we are so everyone's doing the same thing. Well hello boys and girls and welcome to Bubbles. Nearly every single week since lockdown began all the way back in March, the lovely Julie Ryan has been providing resources and videos for our three and four year olds in Bubbles. This has been so good for the little ones to maintain that co connection with church and with Julie and we appreciate her efforts so much. Girls, bye. Give them a wave. Well, we are the programmes that we're currently running are Kids at 9.30, so that is um, in the Taylor Room at half past nine for the children who come along with their parents to the Sunday morning service. Um, so we watch the weekly video and we have a lot of fun. One of the main problems that we've had is that the guidelines don't allow us to have that many people indoors. So we can't run massive programmes or anything for all of the children inside. So that's when we came up with the idea of Church in the Trees. Church in the Trees is one of the silver linings, I would say, of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, without this pandemic, we would never have had to think outside the box in this way, and this um, programme would not have been developed. But it is so good. The kids come along um, to my garden um, every week, come rain or shine, and they watch the weekly video and then they go off and they play in, in the trees. You can see one of the trees behind me there with the tire swing on it. There's a tree house they, um, and they just have so much fun seeing some of the kids who previously wouldn't have actually liked coming along to church that much. Skipping down the drive and looking so happy to be here is a real blessing. So please join me in praying for our children that they would form lasting relationships with Jesus, for the team that he would keep them safe and healthy and last but not least please pray for sunny Sundays so Church in the Trees can continue.